Angela, go the list that you have of Sorry. family doctors. The list that you have of family yeah. doctors. Is it your exit strategy to say to Quebecers, I'm not going to fulfill this promise. I'm sorry. That's not what I want. I want to fulfill this uh, promise like uh, all the other ones. But right now, it's not easy to negotiate with the uh, union, the FMOQ, but I will resist. It, it, it's a very strong lobby. And the uh, PQ government, the liberal government, they uh, didn't resist to this strong lobby. I will resist. Premier, we know this uh, doctor's lobby is very powerful, and as you've just mentioned, many, many other governments have failed. Are you, well, you are saying today you are ready to go to war for, with them? Uh, what I say is that I would prefer to have a, a, a solution that we both agree on. I think that uh, 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 GP, uh, uh, family doctors, they uh, have to understand that Quebecers need to be taken in charge. And right now, there's a minority. And I can tell you that I, I'm receiving messages from some GP doing the job correctly that are unhappy about this minority of uh, family doctors not taking in charge uh, uh, patients. So I think that I think it's about time we solve this problem. Mr. Dr. Barrett wasn't able for four years to solve the problem. Uh, we tried for the first three years to negotiate. We weren't uh, successful. Of course, there was the pandemic that didn't help, but it's about time we find a solution, which is very important for all the healthcare system, because if you don't have a strong first line, it's all the system that has a problem. It's clear in all the reports, including the CLARE report, you have to work on the first line first.